Okay, this is uh, Jonathan and we are doing some forestry on the Pacific Inlet map. In case you're just tuning in, this is a modded map by FDR Logging. And uh, here it is. Uh, we've got uh, a sawmill in the bottom right corner and then a big lake and some other little lakes and uh, miles and miles of trees. <laughs> uh, I was talking last video about how many possibly loads of logs are on this map and I have no idea <laughs> probably in the hundreds uh, oop wrong button and uh, so what I am gonna do though is in the top of the screen uh, as you can see we've already got a log count going and we're up to uh, I believe, was it three uh, as I'm recording this I haven't uh, I'm not seeing that so I think we're up to three loads I have to make sure I make a note of that. Keep track of it. But uh, anyway, you'll see the the load count up there, and uh, we're gonna see how many loads uh, we can get. And also, you'll notice up there we've got a, a pretty good uh, balance of or negative balance of money. And uh, the reason for that is uh, when I first started this map, I went into the XML file and gave myself a million dollars. You know, loan of course and because um, we needed some equipment and you know in most forestry businesses you're gonna have a pretty good starting expense uh, just because the equipment's so dang expensive but anyway uh, we gave, gave ourselves a million dollars to start and bought a harvester and a log truck and trailer a tractor to load up our logs and the log skitter over there but uh, so then I went to repay only uh, $10,000 of it, and because I modded in a million dollars, I don't think the game liked that, <laughs> so it it uh, ended up being a $200,000 repayment, which was, uh, actually no, it's more now, I think it's about 750000 and so now we're left with uh, half a million dollars in debt, so... <laughs> we'll be, be making some loads to the mill with that, and uh, then we'll... Um, let's try to repay it and once we get it repaid then we can finally buy some more equipment uh, which at the rate we're going it's probably going to be a little while And since we uh, need so much money, I had thought about testing out that uh, course play that somebody had modded for, for Farming Simulator 17, but I didn't get around to it, so uh, we'll have to just stick here close by and try to get us as much money as we can while we're close. It would be you know, quick loads. No sense in picking up and moving when we're right here and got plenty of trees to cut. Hmm. And I really kind of wish I could turn that uh, little heads up display in the top left off up there but then I wouldn't really know when, it, when I'm clear to cut a log. Unless uh, in cab somehow it shows me if I'm locked on which I don't I think it will. I may switch to that other view anyway, or another other view, but just turn that thing off. And uh, I guess just keep hitting the button till it cuts. Let's give that a shot.
Whoa. These trees act weird sometimes. Especially these dead ones kind of act weird. You know, it'll probably go faster if I just cut the big trees. But most of the big ones are dead. Hmm. Yeah. Guess we'll just continue on. These smaller trees uh, are just all, you know, kind of the same height, so they're all one length anyway.
All right, well, we, we probably got enough on the ground, I think, for one more load, so let's go ahead and uh, start loading that up. Uh, I guess I should have just, yeah, there we go. Go right to the tractor, and I probably need to move my truck a bit. Well, let's see, we got a bit here stacked up. Uh, I probably just need to get all this and maybe move the truck back a little bit. Yeah, sometimes I'll record multiple uh, episodes of these things, and uh, that's why earlier I wasn't quite sure what low count we were on, because I haven't produced the uh, second video in this series yet. This is the third video in this series, so I was, I'm pretty sure it's three loads that we've got so far, so I'm working on the fourth right here. <coughs> like recording at least one or two episodes ahead that way if I have to miss a day or something or just something comes up and I can't get to it I've already got another video I can just produce it and then ready to go and uh, in case you're wondering uh, I'll be putting on the um, I'll probably do on the on the uh, mods uh, list that spreadsheet or uh, the doc or whatever for Google I'll probably start putting in there, you know, like specs about my computer and um, the producing software I use and all that and the process maybe. Uh, if y'all are interested in that, I'll put that up. But uh, basically, I'm using a piece of software which I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, YouTubers use, at least I've heard of them using it quite a bit. It's uh, the recording software I'm using is Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS for short, and um, it allows you to use your microphone and it records your the actual game, not just the monitor, but the game itself. Like in, for in fact, uh, or for example, uh, right now my uh, taskbar for Windows is visible to me, but in the recordings it's not because it's recording off of the uh, video card, I think, the um, actual game itself and not the what I'm seeing on the screen. So that's pretty nice. And then for the uh, actual producing software I use to make the videos is uh, uh, Power, uh, CyberLink PowerDirector 11. I think uh, the latest one out is 15, I believe. I don't not quite for sure on that one, but uh, the one I'm using is PowerDirector 11, which is a few years old, but it works just fine. I actually bought uh, this CyberLink PowerDirector 11 software for something else I was going to do as a YouTube series and never got around to it. But it uh, worked out really good for, for this. I've done uh, some slideshows for people and myself and it has some special effects you can put in there plus I've kind of gotten used uh, gotten uh, familiar with the uh, some of the transitions and, and the effects you can do so I haven't really tapped as much into it as I probably could for this series just because this series is pretty much straightforward I mean, it's just gameplay 
But if I wanted to get fancy, I could probably come up with some other stuff. But I'll put all that uh, description of hardware and software in the mods list. I'll put it maybe at the bottom down there or something. Or just in case you want to use the same stuff I'm using or was wondering about that. And the reason I went with the Power Director software was, I think, at the time, basically cost. Uh, there was some other software out there by Adobe and I think Sony may have had something, I don't know, I can't remember, but the PowerDirector software seemed to be pretty um, pretty good for the the price and oh, look at that. And um, and for the for the features it had too, it seemed to be on par with some of the bigger ones, but the price was pretty good, so I think I'd looked into like Windows Movie Maker or something too even, but that's pretty limited on what you can do with it. So I decided to go with the CyberLink Power Director. And once you get the hang of it, it's pretty nice. It allows you to do multiple tracks of either video or audio and you can add in even pictures and things on another track kind of overlap things if you're familiar with Photoshop you can use the layers to get different effects and stuff you can do the same thing with this that's what that's all about adding the different the different tracks gives you like kind of like layers in Photoshop and uh, Photoshop by the way I do have that too so I can use that for doing my video thumbnails Yeah, the only thing I don't like about this grapple is sometimes it just doesn't want to pick up the logs very good. I don't understand that. It should... You see, it's not it's not pulling it up in there. Whereas I think it should be doing that. I mean, I've got the tractor completely off the ground. <laughs> it's still not acting like it. I think it should. Maybe if I do two, I can at least get one. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what would happen if I tried to hit the straps right now. Okay, so it grabbed those two in sort of a weird floating <laughs> situation. I wonder if I can close the grapple. Oh, I can. I bet I'm going to lose the log. Hmm. Oh, no, that's interesting. Strange. Come on, get off of there. there you go. Yeah, this grapple's pretty good, but it doesn't seem to want to pick up these trees like it normally does. It could be, um, 
these trees on this map because they got FDR log and said he reworked the trees some. That's just odd. Could be the size of the trees too, I don't know. I may have to do some testing around with some other grapples and see if anything works better. Now FDR Logan does have their machine pack that came out with this map and it's got some grapple loaders, but golly they're so hard to use. I mean, you really need a dual joystick setup. Skitter. Oh, come on. I was past it. I know I was past it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that worked okay, but I think the log was kind of on a little hill where I could scoop under it, sort of. I might, I might try something else. Yeah, I still got room for quite a bit more logs on this load. So let's get this one picked up right here, if we can. And then uh, I think I'm going to move my truck back a little bit so we can get a little shorter uh, load time. Get this log truck moved back a bit. And where do I want to put it? I think back a little bit further.
Right about there ought to do it. This wall is sure acting funny in there. I'm bouncing all around and hopping up and down. That's weird. Oh well. Maybe they'll stay in there. Yeah, I knew it. We're on a bit of a downslope, and well, these trees sure are acting funny with this grapple. They used to not do that in 15. Now yeah, there we go. That's a good grab. Not sure how that happened. Must be some sort of a collision thing, I guess, when the tractor gets close. I'm not sure what's going on there, but those logs, they, they just settled on down in there. That's alright, didn't bother me in any. Okay, let's see. We've probably got room for about two or three more logs, so let's try to get some big ones. Or some bigger ones, and then we'll uh, go ahead and drive this on through the cell point, which I think. I believe it's going to be lo uh, load number four, but I'll have that total up there at the top and we'll know.
Yeah, we'll put one more good sized log on there and that should do it. Unless I get my tractor stuck. I was going for the big one. I'm having trouble. There we go. far to go. Alright. Now we're not quite so far in the hole. Relatively speaking, I suppose, because we had a little over half a million in the hole. <laughs> Okay. Well, we don't have enough logs on the ground to make another load, and uh, I'm getting a bit tired here, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode. And next time we come back, we'll cut down a few more trees and try to work that uh, uh, balance down, which the rate of things... Whew, we got a long way to go. <laughs> In fact, uh, I don't even know if it's going to let us buy any more equipment. I was going to say we might could look at doing a chipping operation, getting it started at least buying the stuff, but that puts even more in the hole. So I think what I'm going to do is just keep chipping away at this, uh, uh, no pun intended, uh, keep chipping away at this uh, $485,000 balance we got here, or negative balance. So, yep, I think that's what we need to do. I don't believe it's even going to let us buy anything unless we have that worked down. So let's just hop in here to the tractors. And I don't know. I just wonder if it'll let us buy anything. Well, you know, it probably it might. It might let us buy something, and we'll just have to... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, won't let us buy anything. So we can't buy anything until we get that loan paid off. And uh, we got a long way to go. So anyway, uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see how long it takes us to get this loan paid off. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we'll be doing a lot of forestry, and... Um, so if that's your thing, or if you just uh, want to check out the Farming Simulator 17 forestry side of things, I'll be doing a whole bunch of that. And uh, we'll be checking the mod site, seeing and hopefully uh, somebody will be coming out with some new mods here pretty soon. Uh, I check it almost daily, sometimes two, three times daily. And uh, we'll um, definitely be getting the latest stuff that's out there uh, once we can afford it. <laughs> and uh, then we'll uh, give that a whirl, see how that works out. and. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so uh, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, tune in next time to see if we can get this uh, balance whittled down so we can actually buy something. And uh, But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, continue on next time with some more forestry and uh, see how many more loads we can get. Hopefully we can get two more loads next time, and uh, 
work that uh, balance down. So in, until then, we'll see you.